this is the saddest moment in my tenure as Secretary General of the United Nations. I started this meeting of the Security Council addressing President Putin and telling him from the bottom of my heart, stop your troops from uh, an offensive to the Ukraine, give peace a chance because too many people have already died. During the meeting, President Putin announced a special military operation in the Donbas and uh, required the Ukrainian troops to lay down their arms. So in the present circumstances, I must change my appeal. And I must say, President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. In the name of humanity, do not allow to start in Europe what could be the worst war since the beginning of the century, with consequences not only devastating for Ukraine, not only tragic for the Russian Federation, but with an impact we can not even foresee in relation to there are consequences for the global economy in the moment we are, when we are emerging from the COVID and so many developing countries absolutely need to have space for the recovery, which would be very, very difficult with the high prices of oil, with the, the end of exports of wheat from the Ukraine, and with rising interest rates caused by the instability in international markets. This conflict must stop now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, you've just talked about consequences. I wonder if you could spell out some more what you think the consequences would be for, will be for Russia and uh, for Ukraine and its people. Well, it's clear that uh, uh, military action will be taking, uh, uh, will be happening in the territory of the Ukraine. And obviously, uh, if they lead to a generalized uh, uh, war, uh, it is difficult to forecast how dramatic it will be in the number of people will die, in the number of people will be displaced, in the number of people will lose hope in relation to the future. It is also clear that uh, uh, the consequences for the Russian Federation will be very meaningful. It's not for me to comment on sanctions that are being implemented, but it's clear that there will be also consequences. But uh, uh, what is clear for me is that this war doesn't make any sense. It violates the principles of the Charter and it causes or will cause if it doesn't stop a level of suffering Europe has not known since at least the volcanic crisis.